The quiet lady thought that the shopkeeper had made a mistake. Are you sure? I don't have my glasses with me, she said, squinting. Right as rain lady, it's your lucky day, he said with a grin. Can you believe that? And in my shop too, what a wonderful stroke of luck. The woman was in shock. This was unbelievable. She had to run home to tell her husband. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell for more amazing stories. Marie and Benjamin Stone were an unassuming couple from the quiet town of Dearborn, Missouri, nestled near the western outskirts of Kansas City. Their lives revolved around their small community, where they had spent years cultivating deep connections with their friends and neighbors. They lived a simple life, content with their modest home and the warmth of their tight-knit community. 51-year-old Marie and 53-year-old Benjamin Stone were a humble couple who made less than $40,000 together. Benjamin lost his job a few years back and they struggled to keep things together. They had always led simple lives, content with their modest house and close-knit community. Little did they know that their lives were about to take an unexpected turn. One day, while Marie was doing her usual shopping rounds, she had a strange feeling and decided to do something different. She took a few dollars and bought six lotto tickets. She had never played before, but she thought, what do I have to lose? Her husband wasn't a gambler either. They didn't have the money or the time for it. But today, something sparked in her. When she arrived home, she was occupied with her chores and completely forgot about it. Benjamin wasn't home yet, so she didn't even think about telling him. The draw was that very same night, but she didn't know. The couple spent a quiet evening having a warm dinner and watching a series. It was their favorite pastime. They didn't know that soon, their lives would change forever. The next day, Benjamin's daughters from his first wife came to visit their father. They came with food and baked goods, as they usually did. Marie got along with them, but she did find them to be overprotective of their father, even after all these years. She did her best to make them happy, but she knew they would never treat her like a mother. While Benjamin was preoccupied with his daughters, Marie got back to her usual job in the week. She did bookkeep for a small company and it helped to pay the bills. She needed to stop at the store before going home. With extra guests in the house, she was cooking and cleaning twice as much. She really needed a break, she thought, as she pushed her trolley inside. Marie went about her usual routine and headed to the local store to buy groceries. She picked her usual items and headed for the till. As she stood in line, she remembered the lotto tickets she bought last week. She reached into her purse and handed them to the cashier. He scanned them as Marie put her groceries on the counter. Would today be her lucky day? The cashier looked at her and said, it's a match. Marie's heart skipped a beat as she processed the words. She hadn't even known she had won until that very moment. As she stood in line, waiting to pay, the cashier looked at her with wide eyes and exclaimed, Marie, do you realize you won the Powerball? A mix of shock and excitement washed over her, and she hurriedly finished her shopping, eager to share the news with Benjamin. As Marie returned home, she found her husband waiting outside, his face filled with curiosity and anticipation. Are you sure? He asked, grabbing the bags from her hands. Everything would change for Marie and Benjamin now. They were excited and tried to be quiet. They knew the news would spread like wildfire and the townspeople would speculate. Marie was taken aback by the news. She couldn't believe her luck. Benjamin was equally stunned when he received the news from Marie. They hugged each other tightly, their minds spinning with a whirlwind of possibilities. The Stone's home was buzzing with excitement. They talked about how the money would change their lifestyle now that they were multimillionaires. Although the Stones tried to remain anonymous, people eventually started finding out that the big winners were them. The cashier had a bit of a loud mouth 
and enjoyed the publicity his store got. Word quickly spread through the town, and soon enough, their friends and neighbors were buzzing with excitement. Everyone wondered what the humble stones would do with their newfound fortune. How much did they win? Marie had just purchased a lottery ticket on a whim. Unbeknownst to her, she had won the Powerball jackpot, a staggering 294 million. It wasn't until a week later, when she went to the store and checked her ticket, that she discovered her incredible luck. Would they splurge on lavish vacations, buy extravagant mansions, or change their lifestyle entirely? However, as time went on, the stones surprised everyone. They remained the same down-to-earth couple they had always been. They continued living in their modest house, driving their old reliable car, and even kept their day jobs. Their friends and neighbors couldn't help but be puzzled by their unchanged lifestyle. Why didn't they spend their money on anything nice? Days turned into weeks, and Marie and Benjamin remained true to their humble roots. They continued living in their cozy home, hardly making any noticeable changes to their lifestyle. They didn't buy extravagant cars or go on luxurious vacations. Instead, they focused on a different kind of wealth, working hard. Close to 300 million didn't change their work ethic or values. The stones were the talk of the town. Curiosity turned into suspicion when their friends noticed police cars frequently visiting the stones' house. Were they in trouble with the law? Speculations ran wild, and rumors spread like wildfire throughout the town. What could Marie and Benjamin be up to? The community's imagination conjured up all sorts of possibilities. In reality, the truth was far from the sinister scenarios playing out in people's minds. The Stones were not involved in any illegal activities. They required the protection of the police as they carried out their work. Instead, they had chosen a path of philanthropy, aiming to make a meaningful impact on their community. They wanted to give back. Marie, being an avid animal lover, had established a foundation dedicated to rescuing and rehabilitating stray animals. She used $10,000 to purchase a property and have it designed especially for animals. Their home had been transformed into a temporary shelter with the police visiting to check on the well-being of the animals and offer support. They were planning on relocating the animals soon and starting a proper center. Benjamin, on the other hand, had taken a keen interest in providing scholarships to underprivileged students in the town. He had set up a scholarship fund and was actively involved in mentoring and guiding young minds. Even though they tried to remain discreet, their kind actions were noticed, and people were grateful for them. But why were they giving all their money away? To everyone's surprise, the Stones didn't rush out to buy luxurious mansions or expensive cars. Their humble lifestyle remained unchanged, and they continued their daily routines. However, their comings and goings became more frequent, kindling the curiosity of their friends and neighbors. They had a large amount of money, and everybody wanted to be their friend to get a piece. The Stones had done ample work for the community, and the news of the lotto winners had died down. When someone asked Benjamin what he did with the money, he said, you know, I didn't even see a penny of it, laughed, and walked away. They noticed police cars visiting the Stone residence on several occasions, leaving everyone wondering what the couple was up to. Were the Stones forced to give their money back to the local government? The Stones didn't divulge any further details. They kept a low profile. They knew there would always be issues with large amounts of free money. Months passed, and a local reporter caught wind of a mysterious angel donor who had contributed $50,000 to the struggling fire department. Speculation grew that it was none other than the stones behind this act of generosity. It seemed as though the Good Samaritan was back to help the locals of Dearborn. The stones were back in action. Soon after, another article emerged, highlighting a $100,000 donation 
made to the local water and sanitation factory. The stones seem to be quietly giving back to their community, but the extent of their philanthropy remained a mystery. As word of their charitable acts spread, various organizations began hosting fundraisers to express their gratitude towards the stones. The couple had, in fact, given away most of their lottery winnings to uplift their beloved community. Their generosity touched the hearts of every resident in Dearborn, and the stones became local heroes. They were showered with love and appreciation, receiving special treatment wherever they went. The whole town rallied behind them, expressing their deep gratitude for the stones' selflessness. It seemed as though the stones had created a ripple effect of kindness and unity throughout the community. Dearborn blossomed with improved infrastructure, enhanced facilities, and a renewed sense of hope. But some people still wanted to know how much money they had left. Finally, after helping everybody they possibly could, Marie and Benjamin decided it was time for a well-deserved break. They contacted a travel agent to arrange a world tour with flights and island adventures. They embarked on a luxurious cruise holiday, their first taste of indulgence since their lottery win. They would be gone for a year. The community bid them farewell with tears of joy, promising to keep their legacy alive. During their vacation, the stones reflected on their incredible journey. They realized that money had the power to change lives, not just their own. It was the ability to make a positive impact on others that truly mattered. Their hearts were filled with immense joy, knowing they had made a difference in the lives of so many. When they returned from their trip, Marie and Benjamin continued to live in Dearborn, surrounded by the love and respect of their community. They became advocates for giving back and inspired others to follow their lead. The town prospered, not just financially, but also in the strength of its bonds and the kindness of its people. Many people still wondered if they were still millionaires or if they had given up all their wealth. Marie and Benjamin Stone's story became legendary, passed down through generations as a tale of humility, generosity, and the incredible power of community. They reminded everyone that the true value of wealth lies not in its accumulation, but in its ability to bring about positive change. And in Dearborn, Missouri, the spirit of the stones continued to shine brightly, forever etched in the hearts of its grateful residents. That day, the stones made everyone a winner.